happy reborn sunshine yellow saturday everyone and welcome to my channel thomason's once upon a nursery i'm tamra and today i am here with my <clears throat> sweet little baby well not so much a baby but my sweet little toddler morgan emiella um her middle name is something i just made up it's a combination of Emmy and Ella. <laughs> Emmy Ella. So, yeah. So, Morgan hasn't been on here since her first appearance for Miss Cher's hashtag on Wednesdays. We wear pink. So, I thought I would bring her on today for Miss Becca's hashtag. My sweet friend. I love you so much. <clears throat> and um, get her changed into some yellow. Something I know that my Beck would appreciate. So, well, okay, there's a bang. <laughs> it's her lovey. Um, so, yeah, did I, I don't even know if I've ever brought him on, but this is cotton. He just looks like a big fluffy cotton ball. Oh, and I'm still having uh, trouble with my muscle that I pulled, with my serratus muscle. If anybody wants to go look at the anatomy or nose anatomy of muscles and things, but it's the, um, the web of muscles, if you will, that comes around your, your body here and like protects your ribs. Like, Right here, put my hand there if you can see, right here, so it'll be right underneath my chesticles, is where it's pulled, right there. So, you know, can't lean or anything, I can't reach really. Um, I, I was talking about it the other day, so I'm having the same issues. It does feel worse. I'm not doing anything for it uh, because it requires a heating pad and I have one, but when it's 5,000 degrees of the devil's butthole outside, you don't want to put heat on. So just saying, but, um, so don't mind me if I wince or grab my side or make some kind of kooky sound because it just certain things I do just all of a sudden feels like I'm being attacked. So just thought I'd let you know. So Morgan, Cotton, you guys ready? Get this show on the road. <clears throat> Let's show all of our aunties and uncles what you're going to be wearing today. And we want to give a special shout out to our uncles out there. We hardly ever shout out the uncles. We did um, one of our last videos, but we want to shout out to our uncles again. Um, we see you. We appreciate you. So don't be afraid to speak up. You're welcome here. You know, I don't care if you're a dude, <laughs> you know, or if you're non-binary or whatever you want to do. Just come on in. Just be who you are. I don't care. <clears throat> so, first, I have this. I hope this is going to fit her. It's a nine months. And she can generally wear, I think this shirt she has on is a nine months. I'll check when I take it off of her. But this was sent to us in some happy mail by our sweet, lovely Mel at Mel Amore Nursery. So this is a Carter size nine months straight from Canada. My ancestry. And it's got little daisies across the pocket there. And it's got some butterfly sleeves, cap sleeves with a, a daisy chain uh, around the sleeves. And it's got kind of a skirted bottom. And it's just white and yellow striped. 
It's got a button closure here in the back. Honestly, guys, I don't like these button closures, like, at all. <laughs> but anyways. And then I have these little pants that are really, really light. Um, they're just cream, cream color. And um, they're sized 12 months. And they're Wonder Kids Nation. Oh, I always do that. There's no kids. It's just Wonder Nation. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I got these um, on Walmart.com in a set. It's like a top and bottom. And then I have this. I've had it for a good minute now. It was also sent to me. But it is so, so sweet. I wanted to put it on one of the babies for like the longest time. And I think this is the thing that's going to be close enough to it that I can actually put it in there. But, um got to do this with my left so this is a hair bow that was sent to us sorry if I'm breathing funny it my side is hurting so it's got the little little brown cluster of flowers it's got a blue um, flower there it's got a pink bunny and some chicks and that's like all throughout and it's kind of this, uh, it's not really a waffle texture. It's some kind of a texture, though. So, But I really, really love this. Um, Tamoriel sent this to me in some Happy Mail. It was actually my very first ever Happy Mail. And it came with um, a little pair of bunny slippers, which we're going to omit for today because those definitely will not fit her. <laughs> this, I'm assuming that it'll stretch. <laughs> All right, let's go. And I have her pillow today that I made for her. Well, I made it, and I just let whoever wanted the pillows claim them, and that's the one she wanted. So as soon as I made it, she just fell in love with it. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to move this guy, Cotton. We're going to set you right there. Please stay. I'm going to pull this up over your head, dear. So I have a question. And I'll just... Um, uh, I've had a really rough couple of days. Um... I wasn't even sure I was going to do a video today, but um, I just think about you guys, you know, and all the encouragement and things that I get, you know, it just, I need that. This was a 12 months Carter's that I got at Goodwill. It was a little big on her. It has a little bird right there. So pretty. I really love that. It looks so pretty on her. You're falling over. And though she still doesn't have a spine, I'm still planning on doing that for you guys. I just, I got really derailed with this whole setback in my life. It's just like, you know, you, you go along for so long and you think everything is fine and you think that things are improving and getting better and just and then somebody pulls the rug out from under you and you're no longer wanted and you're no longer needed and anything that you brought emotionally is irrelevant that's just life and I can't control it I can't even try but my um, I 
I don't remember what I was saying. Um, I don't know. Every day. Uh, well, every day has been a struggle. Yesterday and the day before were just bad just bad I mean I don't even I don't want to talk about it let's just talk about what I was going to talk about and these are 12 months these should fit you baby girl if the if she was an actual real baby this would not be happening right now because these are too tight uh oh Okay, I just had a small interruption. <clears throat> no big deal, nobody important. Or nobody that thinks I'm important. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, <clears throat> so I don't know what I was talking about, and I don't know where I, where I was or what I was doing. I think I was talking about these pants, but. So, yes, which do you prefer for your baby dolls, reborns, whatever? Do you prefer rooted hair, like Morgan has? Oh. Uh, or painted hair, combi hair, a wig? You know, what, what's your choice? What's your preference when it comes to your babies? I mean, honestly, if their hair is, you know, more like this or like Sydney's, you know, I, I, I do like that. But like G's hair and Alessa's, ah. It's that mohair, and I don't care a whole lot for that. But um, I don't like wigs at all. Like, I really, really, really don't like wigs. <clears throat> if I could have, I would probably have the ones with hand-painted hair. Good, yes, I like that. They can stay that way. But... Um, the other ones that don't have hand rooted hair, I would prefer the hand rooting. So, it's just, a, I don't know, the, well, the mohair is just terrible. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, Like, most of my babies have, like, really great hair. It's more or less the ones with the wigs that I have any kind of problem with or issue. Let me get some of my Johnsons. I haven't talked about this stuff in a while, so I'll mention it again. Because uh, I know a lot of you don't have any idea what to use on your babies. Um, I am not responsible for accidents, but I don't have any, technically any reborn babies. Um, but, uh, this is what I use. It comes in like a pink tube at Walmart or a coral color tube. It's Johnson's baby leave-in and it's like the curl defining or something like that. Curl detangling, but, um, very, very, very diluted. Like in this bottle... I would probably just put like that much and then the rest is water and I would start out with water on the warmer side 
at first because it just helps to dilute it better. But I made up some extra one the, when I first made this because I didn't know exactly how to dilute it down. So, and this stuff is nice and it smells pretty good. So, let me hold on to your head, baby. been watching a few videos lately trying to just sort of catch up I, I know I can't get caught up <laughs> you guys are just too awesome <laughs> you put so much time and effort and things into your videos and you know I appreciate them but if I can't give, give them the proper attention you know to watch then i don't know i just i don't, I don't know i kind of feel like if i if i don't at least leave a heart or something i'm like how do they even know i was there how i mean and i i just want to show my support is the thing like i know that none of you require comments as neither do i as well <laughs> But that's how I know that, you know, whoever was watching was watching was by looking at my comments. And so that's why some of you, you know, you leave like a super short comment or something like that. I appreciate those. Just because they're short doesn't mean they're less value or less loving to me. I appreciate like every single comment that I get. And these past couple of days, again, when I've been feeling so down, you know, I've just gone and read those messages. And you guys, I can't tell you just how much it just has just touched my heart. I, I never had this before. Like this is like new this is new territory for me you know having not just having like a youtube channel and a bunch of dolls but i mean the way that you all care i mean i may have had one or two people in my life here and there but as far as like this truckload of people that i have been so blessed with lately you know i how do I say thank you enough? How do I reiterate to you what you all mean to me? I don't know how. So I use my words the best that I can. And pardon me while I turn her around for a moment so I can get her uh, headband on her properly. Let's see how this is going to look and then I'll show you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait for you to see. But like I said, I, I'm making this list of people. And I mean, I know that I'm not going to have a lot of good days right now. But that's where you all come in to remind me that I'm not a loser and that um, I don't know everybody says that everybody deserves to be happy but tried Just keep on getting my heart broken by one person or another. If it's not a kid of mine, it's a friend, a family member, a significant other who no longer wants you. <clears throat> it's 
just a lot of really just heartbreaking things that I just that I deal with on the daily I have myself a little pity party pretty much every day so I don't know how did I you know how do you get to the point where you just get like where you're just lost like it's almost like you you walk along in your life and and you know you you think that you're doing good or you're you know you have good intentions but you know the road to hell is paved with good intentions and then you know like I said you just you go about your life and you think everything is okay and then one day you just something you know hits you in the side of the head figuratively and you you realize that everything that you thought and everything that you believed in and all the trust and love that you had was all a lie. The whole thing is just a lie. And, you know, I fall for it. I'm a sucker. I'm a fool. And now I have to Spend my days trying to figure out how to get over uh, paying for someone else's lie. I have to pay for it on the daily for I don't know how long. Till God decides that I don't have to do this anymore. So, how'd we do? I'm sorry I I'm sorry that I'm sorry that I'm me I can't apologize enough for myself but I will bring this little sweetheart closer and hopefully I won't kill my side I didn't really get to show you the triplets hair properly on the video I didn't even realize until it was over and I watched it later oh I love her face and even though she has a almost exactly similar face as her sister Astrid they do have different faces if you look at them you can really tell the difference it's like I guess when a mom has twins you know the mom can tell them apart they're not twins though they're just sisters let me see oh and I know Tamoria loves her toes so I'm trying to get her up there see there's those toes oh she's falling and there's that foot and she's got the sweetest little hands. She's such a sweet little shy girl. So, I think that that is all for us today for Reborn Sunshine Yellow Saturday, hosted by our gorgeous sweet friend Becca at Becca's Happy Place. Uh, yeah, I already said I love you, but I'll say it again. I love you, Beck. A lot. So, and, you know, I love this. I love this hashtag. I don't know. I, you know, I like I said, I don't, I'm not fond of yellow because it's just too bright for me. But I love this hashtag. I love doing this. And I love being here. I love talking to all of you and um, you're the only friends I have and I'm not even playing so I truly value and appreciate and treasure and cherish every single one of you 
And again, I am reading all of your comments, every single word. And they speak to my heart and they help me tremendously. So even if I'm just leaving a heart on your comment, please, please know that you are touching my heart so much so that I, you know, I just, I wish I could hug you and just, just tell you, you know, thank you so much because I just feel so left out. Like there's a big party going on and I was the only one that wasn't invited. But that's us for today. I'm going to show this pillow. Here we go. Got squirrels and hedgehogs and foxes and raccoons and bunnies. Those beautiful roses of the, the darker pink and yellow and blue. I just love this. It's so pretty. Okay guys, so from me and Morgan and Cotton and all the rest of the babies here at Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery, we wanted to tell you guys again how much we love you and we appreciate you. We appreciate all the support that you bring to my channel and help me to grow my channel. Um, it's it's as easy as hitting the like and subscribe. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. Kindness is free. Helping someone out is free. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also, in the month of August, I have a brand new hashtag that I'm bringing to everyone. Uh, do not feel the pressure to participate. It will go along with the other Friday hashtags that are out there. So you won't really have to change anything or do anything different. You may just pop my hashtag on there if you like. But I will tell you more about that um, toward the end of the week uh, when it's closer to time to being August. I will uh, give you more details. It's just something fun that I wanted to do with my babies. And um, I extend the um, courtesy to you all as well. If you'd like to, to join in. And I also have the 500 subscriber giveaway that Tamoriel and I are doing. Uh, she is trying to get to 400 and I am trying to get to 200. Which is basically 100 more than I have now. So that's 500. Um, Tomorial may be revealing the giveaway prize. So make sure you head to her channel and check her out and see if she's revealed that yet. Because I don't even know yet. I know what it is, but I don't know if she's revealed it yet. So, <laughs> and I've had so many of you um, say that you would like to have a live nursery tour. So... That is going to be the plan. I will let you all know when it's closer to time uh, to do that. And also, I wanted to ask you all, especially you guys that work like through the, throughout the week and everything, like Josie, um, I know that you have a day job, so like at the doctor's office and stuff. So I'm wondering, would it be better to do the live on a weekend? for you guys so now that I know you want to do the live we'll do the live so tell me if it's better for you like during the week is it better on the weekend and um, we'll just basically do majority rules if it's better on the weekend for everybody then that's when we'll do it so you guys just let me know what you want let me know what you want to do and I will give you that <laughs> um, I have also very pathetically linked my PayPal in the description. If anyone would care to donate, um, it's basically my doll fund. Um, any money that goes into that will be used for my dolls. I have um, no money. I have no income. 
no way to get money. I cannot get a job um, for several reasons. But um, so I don't know how I will continue to do this without help. So, um, yeah. So I feel really pathetic. Uh, and I feel like I'm a beggar, but no pressure. If nobody donates, I will still love every single one of you as much as I do now, if not more. So, but I, you know, when you need help, you're supposed to ask for it. So I'm asking for help. <laughs> and, um, if, if you donate and whatever doll I buy, uh, you will get a shout out and I will, you know, of course, mention you. And if you have a channel or Instagram, any of that, I will mention that every time I show that doll and give total credit to you for, you know, the donation to adopt. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. I don't, I, I don't know. I feel really weird about it. Like, I don't know how comfortable I am with feeling like I'm begging for money. This video is getting too long. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go and do something else now. Um, I feel very embarrassed now. So we'll see you tomorrow.